We are gathered here today because of the recent tragedies uh, in our community. Of course, I'm Jerry Demings, the Orange County Mayor, and I've had uh, many conversations in the last uh, 12 hours or so with uh, members of the clergy. And because of the status that they enjoy here within our community, we thought that it was appropriate that moving forward in terms of trying to work with our families who have been impacted in our community, that we needed to come together as a community in unity uh, to talk about next steps going forward. I do applaud uh, Bishop Derek McRae for opening up his church today here at the Experience Christian Center uh, to begin the process of having a dialogue about where we go from here. Because of the leadership that our clergy enjoys within our community, uh, they are very unifying in uh, their efforts. Uh, they have the professional training, I believe, to be able to work with uh, those uh, broken hearts, the emotional experience that uh, our community is going through at this time. And uh, shortly you're going to hear from uh, uh, Bishop Derek McRae, is going, who's going to come up as the current uh, chair and president of the African American Council of Christian Clergy. Obviously his church here is within the Pine Hills community, wonderful community, uh, like all communities sometimes. Uh, there are things that happen that are outside the direct control of those who are law-abiding citizens. And that is what we're dealing with today. Thank you, Bishop. And uh, before I start with my formal comments, I just want to, uh, again, express my condolences to the, the victims and, and the families and all those, uh, and to our community who also feels the effects of this gun violence. You know, bullets don't only kill victims, they rip apart entire families. And that's why it's important for us to come together. So I just want to kind of recap um, yesterday's events and give you all some updated information on this case. Uh, so again, the initial homicide happened at 11 a.m. yesterday on Hialeah Street. Uh, the victim is 38-year-old Nathacha Augustin, who happened to be in a car with a friend when she was shot by the suspect. Homicide detectives responded to that scene at 11 a.m., uh, collected evidence, talked to, to witnesses, did interviews. They quickly identified Keith Moses as the suspect in that case. So they had cleared the scene uh, five hours later, uh, right after four o'clock. Uh, 911 calls started coming in uh, from that earlier homicide scene uh, about the shooting uh, that involved the two Spectrum News 13 journalists, reporter Dylan Lyons and videographer Jesse Walden. Uh, they were both transported to the hospital and as you know, Dylan Lyons succumbed to his injuries. Jesse Walden remains in the hospital uh, but he is talking to our detectives and providing information. At the same time as that call, uh, we received another 911 call about uh, two more people shot on Harrington Street. The suspect had gone to a house on Harrington Street, entered the home for unknown reasons, and shot a mother and her nine-year-old daughter. So uh, we are not naming the woman at this time um, they were transported to the hospital where unfortunately and tragically nine-year-old Tiana Major died from her injuries. Uh, very quickly after the shooting, uh, our deputies received the information uh, from witnesses about what the suspect was wearing. We located um, Mr. Moses and challenged him. Uh, he was uncooperative, but the deputies were able to secure him at the scene. We recovered a Glock 40. Moses as the shooter in those cases. Um, we also have video evidence of him at the scene at the time 
of the shootings. So uh, Moses was taken to the hospital uh, claiming that he was injured and could not breathe. Once at the hospital, uh, he did fight with hospital staff and our deputies had to restrain him once again. Um, we transported him to the Orange County Sheriff's Office to try and conduct an interview. Uh, Moses pretended to be asleep and did not speak with our detectives, uh, but at one point he uh, began physically resisting our detectives and again had to be subdued there at the Sheriff's Office. So he is currently in Orange County Jail. He's charged with first degree murder of Miss Augustine. Uh, and so there are additional charges to file. Uh, I am 100% confident that we will charge uh, him with homicide in the, in the killing of uh, Dylan Lyons and also of the nine-year-old girl, Tiana Major. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.